Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at seven different ways, plus a bonus method, that we can use to find and remove duplicates in our data. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos. If you want to follow along with this video, you can download a copy of the workbook that I'm using in the description below. Now, let's get started. So the first method we're going to take a look at is a command that can be found in the data tab. So if we head up to the data tab, there is a command here to remove duplicates. If we press that, that's going to open up this remove duplicates menu. And I had my active cell inside my data. So it's gone ahead and selected my whole data set for me. And our data has headers. We don't want to include those as part of the uh, finding and removing duplicates. So let's leave that checked. And we also have these buttons here to quickly select all or unselect all of our columns. And then we have our columns listed here. And for example, if we unchecked the year column, that would find duplicates based just on the make and model columns. In this example, we don't want to do that. We're just going to find our duplicates based on every column. So let's just leave everything checked. And now if we press OK, Excel is going to tell us it found three duplicate values and remove them and seven unique values remain. So that's the remove duplicates command found in the data tab. The next method we're going to take a look at for finding and removing duplicates is the advanced filters. So this can be found up in the data tab again and right here advanced. Let's click on that. That's going to open up the advanced filter menu. And we have a couple options. We can filter the list in place or copy it to another location. So let's copy it to another location. And here we're just going to need to select our range. So that's looking good. B2 to D12. And here, if we select copy to another location, we're going to need to supply that location. So let's just put it right here. And here's the important bit for getting our unique values. Check this option here, unique records only. And if you press OK, that's going to produce those unique values for us. Now let's just take a quick look at the other options. So let's go back to our advanced filter. And this time let's just filter the list in place and get our unique records. So now we've got our unique records but the other records are just hidden. So we can see, for example, row five and then row six is hidden and we got row seven here. If we want, we can just copy the visible cells. So one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts is alt semicolon. That's going to select just the visible cells. We can copy those and bring them down here maybe and paste those cells. So that's how we can find and remove duplicates with advanced filters. The next method we're going to take a look at is using a pivot table to remove duplicates. So with a pivot table, we can get the unique values in a column. And actually, if we add all the columns into our pivot table, we'll get the unique values from our data set. So let's go up to the insert tab and create a pivot table with this data. And Let's put it in this same worksheet here and let's press OK. And so if we add any column into our rows area, we get the unique values listed out here in our pivot table. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to add in every column into our rows area. And now we just need to format this pivot table a little bit differently so that we get it in different columns. Right now, this pivot table is in compact form layout. So we just need to go up to our design tab and go to report layouts. And let's put it in tabular form. And we're also going to get rid of subtotals. So don't show any subtotals in that pivot table. And the other thing we're gonna do is repeat all item labels. And now if we Expand that out. And let's also just go back to our design tab and remove that grand totals. So off for rows and columns. And there we go. We have our unique list of items in our data set now. 
So that's how we can use a pivot table to get the unique items in a data set. The next method we're going to take a look at is using Power Query. So Power Query is all about data transformation and it's definitely got the ability to find and remove duplicates. So with our data selected, let's go up to the data tab and we'll create a table range query with that data. And that's going to open up our Power Query editor with the data. And there's a couple different ways to do this. So we can select any columns that we want to base our duplicate check on. So if we want to select all the columns, we can do that. Just hold control and select your columns. And up in the home tab, we can remove rows and there's options to remove duplicates. We can check that and that's going to remove the duplicates for us. Let's just remove that step. The other option is you don't need to select all the columns. You can go up to this table button up here and there's options to remove duplicates. That's going to do it based on all the columns. And let's go back and remove that step. And we also have the option to keep duplicates. So if we select our columns and go up to the home tab and keep rows, you can keep duplicates here. And that way you know which values are duplicates. Let's just remove that. We have the same option for keeping duplicates with the table button. We can do that here. And of course, when you're satisfied, you can close and load your query into the workbook. So let's just remove that step and apply our remove duplicates step again. And now we can close and load this to the workbook. And so we're going to load it into a table and let's just load it into the same sheet. And there's our data with duplicates removed. So that's using Power Query to remove duplicates. And with Power Query, we can also keep the duplicates. Next, we're going to find and remove duplicates with an Excel formula. So we need to create a couple columns in our data first. So first we're going to combine all the columns that we want to base our duplicates on. So let's add another column and we're just going to concatenate everything together. So like that. Another option, if you have the text join function, you can avoid concatenating a lot of columns. So if you use text join, you can reference all the columns. And actually that's not the first argument. The first argument is the delimiter that's going to separate those and we want uh, nothing separating those. And then I'm gonna ignore blank cells and now we can reference the range of values we want to concatenate. And we're gonna get the same result as our ampersands, but it just might be quicker and easier if you have a lot of columns to use that formula instead. And the next thing we're gonna do is count values. So we're going to use count ifs to do that. And the criteria range that we're going to use is going to be our combined data. And actually, I don't want table references in my formula because we're going to be referencing uh, previous rows of data in this formula. So we're going to start at E3 and we're going to have that as an absolute reference. And then we're going to make this range and we're going to start at E3 with our range. And when we copy that down, that range is going to uh, follow us down the rows. And the criteria that we're going to use to count is whether it's equal to the current value. So with this formula, our count for the first row is always going to be one as the first value will be a unique value. And then in this formula here, what we're doing is checking the previous value and the current value 
and seeing if they're equal. And for example, here we got two, and that's because the current value here appears in our previous values. And so anything with a count of two or higher is going to be a duplicate value. And that's a value that we can remove from our data set. So let's go up to the data tab and we can add filters to our data and then just filter out anything that's higher than two. So let's go to a number filter and greater than or equal to. And actually we're not gonna filter out items that are greater than or equal to, that would give us our duplicate values. What we're gonna do is filter on values equal to one. And that's gonna be our unique values. And then we can select our data and we just want the visible cells. So we can use Alt semicolon to select the visible cells. And then we can copy and paste that somewhere else. So that's how we can use Excel formulas to get unique values. Next, we're going to use conditional formatting to find duplicate values. So again, we need to have a column that combines our data. And once we have that, we can select the column and go up to the home tab and conditional formatting and highlight cells rules. And in there, there's an option to find duplicate values. Now we can find unique values or duplicate values with this method. And then we have options for different formatting. We can also do custom formatting if none of those suit your needs. Let's press OK. And one thing to note is that this highlights both the original value and any duplicates. So you'll need to keep that in mind. And now we can go up to our filtering and we can filter by color. So we can choose things that have no fill and that's gonna be our unique values. But again, unique values without the first uh, row of data in a duplicate. And now we can use Alt semicolon to select those uh, rows and we can copy and paste them somewhere else. So that's how we can use conditional formatting to find our duplicate values. We can also remove duplicates with some Visual Basic. So we can go up to the Developer tab. And if you don't have the Developer tab, it's actually hidden by default. You can right click and customize the ribbon. And that's gonna bring up this Excel options. And you just need to make sure that the Developer tab here is checked off and press OK. And you'll get this new Developer tab if you don't already have it. And here we can open up our Visual Basic Editor and in our Remove Duplicates Workbook, we can right click underneath there and insert a module. So this is where we're gonna place the code that's going to remove our duplicates. And I've already got that copied into my clipboard. And all this code is doing is getting our car list range. So our data is in a table called car list. And then it's using the remove duplicates method to remove duplicates. And it's gonna remove those duplicates based on all of the columns. So we've got three columns here. So we've got the columns listed for uh, columns one, two, and three. And our data also has headers. So we've got this option here. And if we close our Visual Basic Editor, and come back here, we can run that code. Uh, so let's go to the macros and we'll see that in our list of macros. So remove duplicates and we can run that. And our duplicates have been removed. So one thing to note with Visual Basic, you can't undo the action. So you should make a copy of your data first. The last method we're going to take a look at is a bit of a bonus method. So we're going to use dynamic array formulas to remove our duplicate values. And dynamic array formulas are only available in Excel for Office 365 right now. And you need to be an Office Insider to have them right now. Hopefully soon they'll be generally available. But you will need Excel for Office 365 
even Excel 2019 won't have them. So to remove the duplicate values, we're going to use the unique function, which is one of the new dynamic array formulas. And we can reference our entire set of data here. And we want to compare by row. And we want to include all unique values. So if a value has a duplicate, this is not going to include that value. But this option here will include all unique values in what's returned. And when we press enter, that's going to spill into our workbook. And let's just expand that a little bit. And with this option, it's dynamic. So if we add data into our data set, let's just copy this down here. Notice that nothing's changed in our results because that's a duplicate value. If we were to come in here and change this, let's try 2010. That's now a unique value. And you can see that it appears in our results here. So that's how we can remove duplicates using the new dynamic array unique function, only available currently for Office Insiders on Office 365. Hopefully soon, generally available for everyone on Office 365. So there you have it. There's a lot of options in Excel for finding and removing duplicate values in your data. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.